What is up guys, Forrest here. Now I wanna take you through what's in my software developer bag. However, there's a slight caveat, and that is the fact that I do 99.9% .9 of any development work within this office on that desktop computer and those two monitors. So, while most of that work is done in this office, there are all those rare occasions where I gotta take my kit with me, make sure I'm ready for software development work, and that's what this video is all about. I also, I'll mention this later in a video, need to get your recommendation on what laptop I ought to get. And speaking of me doing my work within this, I do want to give a big shout out to Autonomous. Autonomous sent me this chair however many months ago, and I'm actually really, really liking it. I got it a couple months ago, wasn't posting anything about it, but I figured since I like it so much, I'll throw it in this video and just let y'all know. After seven years of using the same old backpack, I finally found one that I like, that fits exactly what I do for work, for play, for anything. This is it, the Nixon Logic Camera Bag 2. If that's not the exact name, I don't know. Anything, including this, that I list in the video, I will comment down in the description below because I could get the name wrong. And if you wanna find it, those are gonna be affiliate links, so you use those links, those help me out, full transparency. But let's take a look at this bag here. It is currently empty. Now, I'm going to show you what's inside my software development bag, which is this, by putting everything into it as the video goes on. But as you can see, we have our own dedicated laptop slot. Very nice, very convenient, and something that I really enjoy in a bag. Also, we have our main compartment. As you can see, it is half the bag, and it has a lot of pockets. One big pocket, and then everything on the face of that big pocket, and pockets on the faces of those pockets, and zipper pockets, and, and pockets inside of a big pocket. Let's not forget the front pocket that is on that big pocket, just regular pocket. And then on the bottom, now, as a software developer, you may not find this as interesting, but for what I do with the camera and things of that nature, and the reason it has the name of Logic Camera Bag is that it has compartments for your camera, for lenses, for the mic, anything that you would need in terms of recording. You're able to just put it right in here, have its own access. And this bag is basically exactly what I've been looking for that I could carry everything in from cameras to laptops to whatever I may be doing on a day-to-day -day basis within this big pocket right here. Like if I'm snowboarding, I put drinks and snacks in there. If I'm going on a trip, I put some clothes in there, whatever it may be. All right, item number one, the mid-2012 MacBook Pro. Yes, very outdated, and yes, it does go in this individual laptop pocket. If you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, I think I even made a YouTube community post about it. I am in search of a new laptop. I wanted to make a video, this video, once I got the new laptop, but I've just been falling down the rabbit hole of doing research, trying to get down to a top three and going from there. So if you have any laptop recommendations for someone that don't care if it's Mac OS, don't care if it's Windows 10, I will be dual booting it with Arch Linux regardless of what the main operating system is. Leave a comment down below with your recommendation and why. I just have yet to find that perfect laptop when I'm spending thousands of dollars on it. I'm gonna be video editing, coding, everything in between. Now in the main compartment here, we throw in the MacBook Pro charger because old computer means old battery means bad battery. So it doesn't matter if you're in this office, in the living room or at a coffee shop, you're gonna need the battery uh, charger because the battery doesn't last long whatsoever. Step number two is phone charger. Regardless of where I go, I always need to make sure I have a phone charger on me because it's a slightly older iPhone and you know how the batteries are on those. The next item is an external hard drive and it's cable. Now, the reason I carry this around isn't only for footage because I actually have two hard drives within my MacBook Pro. I took out the CD slot, replaced it with its stock hard disk drive, and replaced that stock hard disk drive with a solid state drive a couple years ago. So I have plenty of storage there, but when I wanna transfer anything from that desktop to my laptop, and I know I'm gonna to have to carry around any code, any code that I don't even want on a private repository up on GitHub or any other type of version control system, I throw it on my external hard drive. Call me paranoid, but not all my code that I'm working on right now I want even on a private. And to finish it off, 
Besides any other specific items I might have in here, like I said, snowboarding, snacks and drinks, clothes if I'm going somewhere else. For software development, for life really, I carry around this notebook and a pen. Now with this, I write down anything that I need to do throughout the day. For my checklist, I will go into full on brainstorming in this just pages and pages and pages full of whatever is on my mind and I just need to write it down. That sets right here in the main pocket behind any other items that I may need to include. Now let's uh, move on down to the final compartment. I don't really keep anything in here except for maybe little knickknacks here and there or maybe a, maybe my AirPods, but I don't always carry, the, carry those around. But I do carry my strap in here at all times my camera battery charger. Let's flick that up there like that. Throw this in one of these smaller slots. Now mind you, I can adjust this however I want. There are three of these throughout this giant pocket. I can put them vertically, horizontally, however I want to set them, I can. And I always gotta make sure I have my cable in there to connect my uh, camera to whatever laptop or desktop I may have on me. Now obviously I'm recording on my one and only good camera. It's a Nikon Z6, I throw the body right in here. And then the kit lens, I throw the kit lens right in here. It's a 24 to 70 if I'm not mistaken. Sometimes I'll take uh, my head strap and my GoPro, maybe another accessory, put it right on in here. Then I also have this little handheld Manfrotto tripod that I can just screw my camera right onto. And I'll also lay that right on top here along with the microphone to go along with the camera. Now I know that's not most of y'all's cup of tea considering most of y'all type on the computer, software development, you don't really carry around video stuff with you like I do unless you make YouTube videos. But that's why it's what's in my software developer bag, not what's in your software developer bag. I just wanted to make sure I didn't leave anything out. And I don't think I did. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Remember, all the links to everything that's re relevant in this video, I'll leave a link down in the description box below and it's nice little categories, stuff for software development, stuff for my camera gear. I'll even include some of my desk setup stuff because as I said at the beginning of this video, 99% of my software development work gets done at this computer right here considering I work from home in this office to do all of my work. Bonus round. Considering I do most of my work here at my desk, let's just give a brief overview of my desk setup. I've gone through it more in depth in another video that I'll also link down below under all of the product links in the video in the description, but I am gonna just briefly go over what I got going, over, going on here. So this is my custom built PC. We have an RTX 260 Super, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and an AMD 3700X. It's in one of the NZXT cases in the motherboard. That escapes my mind right now. My inputs are my keyboard. This is a Logitech G Pro keyboard, 10 keyless, because, well, I use it for gaming and I rarely ever use this 10 keypad over there. Although I have had many use cases in which I need that 10 number keypad, but I don't have it. I use this Logitech G602 mouse. I actually really like this. It's a wireless mouse does just fine, same as a wired. And then I have two monitors. The ASUS, both of them are 27 inch, 1440p monitors. This is an ASUS ROG, so it goes up to, it's 144 hertz monitor if I choose. And this one is only a 60 hertz monitor, slightly older, but they're still 1440p. Haven't gotten the color profiles to match just perfectly quite yet though. This is sitting on top of a flexi spot desk. It is a sit stand desk. I can stand it up a little bit, sit it down a little bit, but the cords are a little bit tight. I never stand it up so it just sits in this position or else it'll rip everything out of my computer. And then I have this that I mentioned earlier in the video, the autonomous chair. Desk chair, don't know what it's called. Not that this is relevant to software development but I also have the Logitech C920 webcam right here if you tuned in to my recent live stream from a couple weeks ago. That's what I was using. And for audio, I have two Kanto YU2 speakers. If you can see those sitting right here and right here. And I also have these Audio-Technica M50s. They work wonderful, they're very comfortable. I would love to get the wireless ones, but I don't need them. If I could fit all of this in that backpack, I would.